One day while uh, riding around in a car, I had my hand out the window, kind of riding the wind as people often do with their hands. Um, and it struck me, what if we could combine this experience with quadcopter drones so that they could control these drones with no more than their hand and fingers, like they're surfing the wind. And we thought, there's got to be a better way to introduce the next generation of youth to quadcopter drones. It has a few different sensors on it. Uh, the main one is what's called an IMU, an inertial measurement unit, which has a gyroscope, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. So that's how it determines how the user's turning it. And then it uses a downward facing uh, infrared sensor to maintain a certain height. Just with a combination of those, it can sort of stay in place for someone to play with it. The finger part allows the drone's onboard sensors to track the user's motion to initiate pre-programmed flight paths and tricks. Um, and then the finger part allows the user to physically manipulate it if they wanted to spin it or pass to a friend. Controlling a drone with your hands like this has never before been done. Since there's no controller, um, anyone that's, that's uh, in close vicinity becomes the controller. What does this mean for the future of full-size drones? Um, you know, haptic feedback controls I can see in the future. I just hope this inspires maybe a whole new way of looking at controlling autonomous quadcopters. It's the most intuitive thing that no one's ever thought of.